Hello there, today we'll be doing a uh, binary search. Let's check it out. This is a very basic problem of the concept. And so what's going on here is that we're giving a sorted uh, list of numbers and we're trying to find the target, um, which is nine. And we're supposed to return the index of nine if it exists. If it does not exist, we're gonna return negative one. So binary search is basically um, a O of log N type operation because um, what we're going to do is uh, look for the mid of between left and right. And once we have the uh, middle item, we can tell whether it's bigger or smaller than that particular midpoint. And uh, if we do know what is the midpoint, and if it's bigger, that means uh, that everything to the left is uh, irrelevant. Or if it's smaller um, than the midpoint, then everything to the right is irrelevant. And so that way we can get um, our solution. Uh, we'll, we'll remove half the items that we don't need and get to our solution in log n time because we're reducing the number of possibilities by half each time. So suppose you have eight, eight, uh, eight possibilities, then you have four, then two, and then you have one. Okay, let's check this out. So uh, left and right, um, let's run this operation once, um, just visually, and this way it helps everyone, um, not just, yeah. So, okay, so left and right, so first things first, five minus zero, get the midpoint between the two, which is five, and we're gonna floor it, so, which is equal to um, two, and that's our midpoint right there. So um, right there, uh, we, our point is three, and we're looking for nine. So everything to the uh, to the uh, left of that is no longer any good. So let's check that out. Now we have midpoint three and five. And so um, five minus three is two. Two divided by wait, what is going on? The, hmm. Ah, right. Sorry, my bad. It's five plus three. Um, now it's eight divided by two, which is four. Um, and so the midpoint is now at 4, which we check to be equal to our target. So immediately we can return our target. Suppose our target's 13 now. All right, so 13, uh, this is not our target, so we keep moving left. Well, is it 12? Uh, so 5 plus 5 divided by 2 is okay, you know, 5. Um, that's our midpoint. Of course, that's not the case. So we keep moving left one more time, and left is now out of bounds. With left out of bounds, that means there is no correct answer and we can return negative one. Let's get to, to the code. All right, let's do it. So left, right equals zero and equals a length of nums minus one. So while left is less than or equal to right, um, we're gonna get the midpoint. Mid is equal to um, the left plus right divided by two. Um, we can use this at this particular point because our number is only 10,000 uh, maximum. But however, if our number it can become enormous, what we should do instead is go uh, to be uh, to be safe is to left plus right minus left divided by two. So with that, uh, we can add what is, um, I guess, necessary for for our um, operation here. But since that's not the case, uh, we don't need that. Um, we're gonna cut that out. So uh, if nums of mid is less than the target, we're gonna move left equals mid plus one. Um, otherwise, nums of mid is greater than the target. Um, that means we need to go smaller. So right equals mid plus minus one. And with that, else return mid. And everything else uh, return negative one if it's out of bounds. And we should be good to go with that. Let's run it. And uh, earlier we got a very fast time. This time it's a little slower. I think that just has to do with the numbers that are given to us. All right, um, let's check out another method that's built in straight into Python. Uh, it's called bisect. It's pretty, um, I say, I haven't used it too often, but I mean, I think it will be important to use uh, when we want to do more complex operations with binary search, but we want to find something easy to do. However, I mean, it is cumbersome at this point. So let's check it out. So um, we have a bisect right. And what happens is that we're gonna get the number to the right if they're duplicates. 
Um, so um, what, what we need is the target and the number of arrays. So that's how you do bisect right. And if the index is greater than zero, we need to do index minus one because it up retrieves one greater than the index for some reason. And um, one more thing is that beware that it might not give you the right index. So uh, if the nums of the index is equal equal to target, then return the item, else return negative one. All right, let's run it. And submit. This is going to be a little bit slower. Uh, I don't know why on average, but it is. All right, let's check out the another method. The another method is called bisect left. This is going to get the left index. Um, yeah. So let's get it. So bisect left is equal to uh, the nums and the target. So this is going to get the uh, most leftmost number, um, not to the right of the number. Um, and what happens here is that uh, there are issues with bisect left that um, you don't have with bisect right. So it can, it, it, the thing about bisect left is that if it is the last index, then it's out of bounds. Or the nums of the index does not equal to a target. Return uh, negative one, otherwise return index. All right, let's submit that. So these are things we need to watch out for. It looks like a memory usage is much better though. Um, but anyways, these are things we need to watch out for uh, when using bisect left and bisect right. So make sure that it is within bounds. Um, in the case of uh, bisect right, it has to be greater than zero, um, minus one. And for bisect left, it has to be, um, you know, under the, the number limit and it has to be equal to target, both, both of which needs to be like that. So that's what happens when you use bisect left and bisect right. These are the built-in uh, binary search functions in Python. So uh, I hope you learned something new today, which is pretty interesting. Um, but mostly the concept here with binary search is to eliminate uh, half the results that are unnecessary for our answer and can retain the half of the results that do have our answer in it. And we'll be seeing this concept used throughout the, the you know, the following problems that we do for, for this. All right, um, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.